the debate today about how the problem with the vagueness of legislation is not limited to human rights provisions, but is present in a lot of different laws. And I'm wondering if you could give us your perspective on that issue and talk about why you raised that question. Sure, I raised the question because I think that it's very much a straw man argument. Um, uh, uh, opponents of a Charter of Rights often refer to the vagueness of human rights legislation and human rights norms, uh, and in so doing, um, conveniently overlook two facts. Um, one is that there is an extensive body of really well-developed, considered jurisprudence uh, at the international level, at the regional level, and also in comparative domestic jurisdictions, um, which substantially uh, inform the meaning of the, and content of those words. Uh, so, I mean, they're anything but vague or ambiguous, but have very concrete content. Uh, and secondly, that there's a whole range of words that are used in a, a whole raft of legislation, which could be similarly characterised as vague or ambiguous, such as uh, misleading and deceptive, or public interest, or unconscionable conduct, or market power. Uh, and they're concepts that um, we don't object to because of um, a familiarity with the jurisprudence that informs the content of those words. So too, we need to inform ourselves of, of the jurisprudence um, that informs the content of human rights norms.